I'm just going to give you a very quick walk around the Cabby Academy. So what you see here is the login screen at academy.cabby.org. This is a Moodle site. If you've used Moodle before, it'd be very familiar to you. If you haven't, don't worry because we've designed it to make it as easy to use as possible. Uh, if you have an account, you can log in on this screen. If you don't have an account, you can create a new account and you'll be asked, once you've accepted a privacy policy and so on, you'll be asked for a few details uh, before you can create the account. That will send you an email when you, and you then accept the link in the email just to confirm that this is your email address. So I'm not going to do that and at the moment I'm just going to log in with my account. So you can see now I'm inside my home page. I can get to, back to it at any time by clicking on home and the home page is showing me all the courses that I'm currently enrolled in and all the courses that I have access to potentially. Now some courses allow me to self-enroll, so for, for example the two demonstration courses that we have currently, they you can go and find those and enroll yourself into, into them, there is no barrier at all. The demonstration course is just to contain a very cut down version of the main courses, they, de they show the structure and some examples of the type of content that you'll see. The main courses that we currently have are our two 15 hour courses, about 15 hours each, one on diagnosing crop pests and another one on managing crop pests. Uh, we do have a Spanish version of the diagnosis course that is on, on the way and will be with us very soon. So I'm just going to show you inside uh, our two uh, main courses. So let me close up the, the module. So you can see we've got a, a number of modules here. Uh, the ones that are greyed out, they're restricted because I haven't done whatever is needed to get into them yet. And the way we've designed this course for the moment, because we're in a feedback gathering stage, we wanted to get as much feedback as we can on how people are using it, what they're learning from it and so on. We're asking at the end of each module to complete a feedback questionnaire. It's very short, two or three questions, and to, so we can gather information about how people are coping with it, and what they're learning from it, what they're finding good, what they need, what needs to be improved and so on. And the, the diagnosis course is designed and based on our PlantWise uh, Plant Doctor courses, our face-to-face -face courses, and it's designed as a generic course to help you become and gain skills in diagnosing plant problems. So it's not designed around any particular crop or any particular region, it's designed around a particular set of skills and a particular methodology. And the way it, you are expected to go through it, it assumes you start with no, no knowledge and you, so you start with some very simple activities, some very simple uh, problems to diagnose and as you go to module 5 it starts getting, it, well it becomes much more complicated and you have uh, complex problems being presented, often multiple problems in the same plant, and you're being asked to diagnose those. So obviously if you're an experienced person, you could go straight to module 5. It really doesn't matter. The key thing uh, to get the certificate at the end is to be able to do the assessment in module 6. And so, But to get to module five and so on, you will have had to do the questionnaires as you go through, but that's like a, a one minute job to do the, do the questionnaires each time. So I'm just going to show you one of our modules just to give, give you an idea of how it works. So this is our, our very first lesson. Let it load up. Okay. So, very brief introduction to it, and the way this course is designed is really around a series of flashcards. If you're used to learning languages and things like that, you're you're given some photographs. You can zoom in on the photographs. You're given some information about those photographs on all sorts of different plants. So these are all different plants showing the symptom of a leaf spot, and similarly. This is surface growth. Again, we're given photographs with information, and these are all examples of surface growth. And then as we go, go along, I'm going to just jump forwards and go to the knowledge check. 
towards the end of the module, you're asked to use the, those skills that you've learnt as you've uh, looked at the flashcards to actually diagnose some problems. So which is this one? This is leaf spot. I know this because I've done it many times. And so on. And then it's another one. This one is surface growth. I won't go through all the questions. Just This is just to give you an idea of how it works. So this is our diagnosis course. That was the very simple stuff. Um, the, the much more complex stuff is at the end. I just now want to show you the, the management course very quickly because I, that's a, a very different style of course. So we're now looking at our management course, our 15 hour course on managing crop pests and diseases. This is very heavily based on our Masters in Integrated Crop Management. It's run out of our Switzerland centre and the methodology it's used is IPM, Integrated Pest Management. So you might recognise some of the, the terms here. I'm just going to show you one of our modules, our int introduction module. We are looking at a beta version, hence the slightly obscure title at the top. That's changing as we move out of beta. So I'll just show you the, show you the menu just to give you an idea of the, the breadth and depth of, of this and we'll just dip into some some bits of it. So it's, there's a, a lot of information to work through, um, a, a lot of things to learn. Um, there are knowledge checks as we go through to help you re, uh, refresh your memory and to go back to previous pages if you need, need help on answering them. A lot of extra information as we go through. And later on in the modules, you'll find scenarios where you're given choices and you have to work out what's the best advice to give to this particular farmer on how to deal with their particular problem. So it's a, it's a different model to the diagnosis course, um, but very rich and full, full of information. And at the end of this, we are building a, um, an assessment uh, very similar to the, the diagnosis one and then the certificate will be based on that assessment. We do ask people to give feedback and reflection at the end of each module as, as, as they go through it and hopefully uh, you know, that will then give us more information as we get ready to produce any, any future editions. So I'm going to leave it there and I hope that was useful and I'll leave you just on my homepage. Thank you.